Hi, this is Toby and today I'll be showing you how to grow some magic beans. Now, these are not beans from Jack and the Beanstalk, but they're actually from a tree called Castanospermum australe, the bean tree. And they produce these large pods with beans in them. Now, these beans are not edible, they are toxic, but they are an interesting plant. Sometimes it's sold as, I think they call them magic beans when you have a pot full of them and they just germinate and they do look quite interesting. So you can see the seed is pretty much a bean. It looks like a bean. The actual pod, if I can show you one side of it, it looks like a bean. I'll put a photo right now of when I just got these pods. They were tightly closed. And if you tried wedging them open, you're not gonna open them. But if you leave them in just a dry area, I just kept them in the house and they, they naturally split open like this. And that is when you can get the seeds out. So we're gonna plant them. If I just quickly peel this, I'll show you what it looks like. It, it genuinely resembles a bean. So you can see I'm taking the cover off. I can, I can just peel this off a bit better. Now, one way you can grow these is the avocado way where you put some matchsticks in it and kind of just plop them on top of water like that. Now you can see this is where the root actually comes out. And with something like this, you can plant it straight in. I'm just, again, I'm gonna soak them because I feel like soaking seeds always improves the germination time. Maybe it's just me, maybe I have to do an experiment on it, but I, th I feel like it helps. It kind of activates the embryo, but I'm gonna peel all of them, soak them and show you. So here they are. I peeled all of them, they're gonna soak and maybe in around an hour or so, I will come back and plant them. So it's been around an hour and these have been just soaking. So we're gonna plant them. And what I'm gonna do is grab the end where the root will come out, kind of just plop it on the soil. I will cover it up slightly afterwards. I'm gonna probably go around maybe three in a pot for this, the big ones, and then one in each for the smaller ones. And there is a tree that grows nearby. So that's where I got these seeds from. And it does drop a lot of seeds every, every fall. So, so I'm now going to cover a bit more soil on each of them and put them in a sunny position. So here they are. You can see I still kept the tops out so they get some sun and I believe they will turn green. Or they are green, but they will turn a dark green once they get a bit of light. I'm gonna keep them moist, and when something comes out, I'll show you. So here's an update of the Castanospermum australe. I just noticed, I think something's eaten some of the outside. Um, That's okay, because the seeds are still fine. They're all germinating, you can see the shoots. Now, if you want the little beans to stay a nice green, you can put them under the shade because the top burnt a bit from some of the intense sun, but I don't mind. Um, I'm not growing this because the beans look nice. I'm growing it for the actual plant. So you can see they're starting to germinate now. They split. A little shoot comes out the middle. They're all starting to split. So we'll get some more of these trees, but I'll show you when they actually come out. So here's a final update of the Castanospermum australe. They've all come out. Some of them did get a bit damaged by slugs. You can see even on the actual beans, but the actual green part has come out. Looks very nice. They will get bigger quite quickly, but it's a nice plant to have. Um, if you don't want the beans to look this bad and you actually want to grow it for a little, for the green beans at the bottom when the plant just sprouts, you can plant them in part shade. I did grow them in full sun and they were also been by slug which is why they don't look that good but if you protected them and grew them in less intense light they will stay green but anyways thanks for watching this video and i do recommend giving this a go yourself i think this, these trees are very interesting if you have access to them of course you can buy them in some stores but i think growing them yourself is a lot more fun but anyways thanks for watching this video please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye